I want to talk about how keeping a simple food journal, food diary can make such a difference and it could very likely help you with a lot of the issues that you're dealing with. Now mine, I bought this journal, this planner uh, last year and it's a great way to keep track of the things I'm eating, what time I get up, my mood, so many different things. Because people often underestimate just how food can affect our mood, can it affect how we feel, our energy levels. And so I think a lot of times people are grabbing pills, their supplements, they're doing all of these things to suppress things that are really caused by what they're eating. I feel like it can affect you in many different ways. So let's look at some emotional things that maybe you might be dealing with that you have never even thought were related to food. So for example, maybe you're dealing with anxiety. You know, you're anxious sometimes, certain times of the day. Maybe a little bit of depression. You don't have any kind of motivation. You just are irritable. A lot of those things could be related to your diet. One of the things that I like to do, for example, on mine, is I put the time that I wake up, put how I feel. Have you noticed that there's sometimes there are days that you think you just pop out of bed, you have energy, you feel good? Not an issue. And then aren't there days that you're dragging, you don't want to get out of bed, you want to pull the covers over your head? It could very well be what you had for dinner last night. So keep in mind those things. I put the time of day that I eat. Um, I list the different things. And again, it's very simple. Uh, there's nothing hard about it. Um, you, can, you, you can be as detailed, really, as you want to be. And so I list those things. And I list the time because the time may make a difference. So for example, you have that piece of fruit in the morning but then it affects you one way, but you have it after a heavy meal, it might affect you in a totally different way. Other things that can it can affect you are physical. So for example, a lot of times people have gut issues, constipation, diarrhea, bloating, a lot of gas. Again, what do people often do? They grab one of those little chalky pills to help with that indigestion, acid reflux, all of those things but it could very well be the foods you've been eating. So that's another thing that you really need to pay close attention to. Are you drinking a lot of liquids with your meal? Maybe you struggle with headaches. The headaches could easily be connected to what you're eating as well. Too often we discount things, but you may have a sensitivity to certain foods. And the thing I wanna get across is that it isn't necessarily bad foods. Yes, you're gonna maybe notice it more eating that greasy pizza or fried chicken and french fries, but you could just as easily have issues having that green smoothie in the morning, having a beautiful salad at lunch, and then having boneless, skinless chicken and broccoli and cauliflower for dinner. You may still be dealing with some of the issues you had in the days when you were eating horribly because it could be affecting you in certain ways. So many things that go on in the body. And one of the quickest ways to figure these things out is just to keep that journal, that diary. I like to just write down, you know, like what's the weather like? Because weather even affects things like that. I was on a call with a, a doctor in a Zoom call. There was a group of us. And the doctor was calling, talking about how weather can play a huge difference. When there's different types of things going on in the atmosphere, that can affect how we sleep. And if we're not sleeping well, it's gonna affect everything else. So let's pay attention. What about the moon? Is it a full moon? I used to think that was a little creepy, but think about it, people plant by the moon. There's so many different things. So let's pay attention to these things and keep them in mind. So again, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. You can get a simple little tablet, but start jotting down and writing down those things. You will be amazed at what a difference it can make. You'll discover things about yourself you didn't even know. For more healthy tips, stay with me. This is Coach Maggie for Health. God bless.